I'm your heart. I live inside of your chest. I'm about the size of your fist, and I never take a rest. I'm your heart. You couldn't live without me. I pump the blood that fuels your body, so take care of me, please. The human heart is made up of four major chambers in me. The right atrium and right ventricle are the first two you see. They receive blood that's low in oxygen from your whole body and sends it to your lungs through your pulmonary artery. The lungs fill blood with oxygen that your left atrium receives and flows through the left ventricle to the aortic arteries. I'm your heart. I live inside of your chest. I'm about the size of your fist and I never take a rest. I'm your heart. You couldn't live without me. I pump the blood that fuels your body, so take care of me, please. I can beat more than 100,000 times in one day, pumping about 2,000 gallons of blood through your body. There is about 60,000 miles of vessels in your circulatory system. I always keep them full. I have four valves that open and close that control the blood through tricuspid pulmonic mitral and aortic valves you see i'm your heart i live inside of your chest i'm about the size of your fist and i never take a rest i'm your heart you couldn't live without me i pump the blood that fuels your body so take care of me please Description below! I am your gallbladder I am a sack-shaped organ you see I am a gallbladder Your liver stores its bile in me My surface is smooth to the touch I'm green in color, now you know that much And I have several parts The right and left hepatic ducts are where we will start Here's the common hepatic duct Then the cystic duct sits where it is tucked Then we move to the neck Which is attached to the body and the rounded fundus to the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct that is what I'm made of I am your gallbladder I am a sac shaped organ you see I am a gallbladder your liver stores its bile in me I act as a reservoir by storing the bile that your liver does for This bile is made and used To break down fats from all the eaten foods When your food leaves your stomach It passes through the duodenum Now that is a fact That is when I begin to work Passing the digestive bile through the common bile duct when this bile is out of me I flatten like a deflated balloon, you see Then the liver, it does the rest And when you're done digesting food, that's when I ingest All the new bile to store That the body waits to use, that is what I am for I am your gallbladder I am a sac-shaped organ, you see I am a gallbladder Your liver stores its bile in me I am your gallbladder I am a sac-shaped organ, you see I am a 
gallbladder. Your liver stores its bile in me. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. How about I lend you a hand and tell you about me? There are 27 bones in the average hand C. Let's start with the tips of my fingers and you'll see there are five on my hand called the distal phalanges. They are attached to the middle phalanges. There are only four of them on the fingers of me. The proximal Watch this video of me. There are 23 discs 
in the human spine. The intervertebral discs is their name you will find. These discs help you flex the hard vertebrae bone. Between most of your vertebrae, they are shown. They are flexible discs that look like tires on your car. The outer rings, the annulus, and the nucleus center isn't far. Helping you bend and flex is the disc's main job. And running through the center spine is the spinal cord at large. It connects your brain to all your body's nerves. So take care of your spine because that's what your body deserves. You have a spine, it's what you see. And if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. You have a spine, it's what you see. And if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Esophagus. I am your esophagus. Esophagus. Attached to the back of your trachea. Esophagus. Digestive systems muscular too. Esophagus. I bring your food down to the stomach and you. I live in front of your spinal column. I'm right beyond the trachea and hop that pumps. I connect the throat to the stomach and you. Before I reach your stomach, your diaphragm, I pass through. My outer muscles are what help me to push through. These muscles contract in wave motions to help me push it through. This wave motion is called peristalsis. Now let's take a look at the muscles that help me do this. The inner to the outer walls of your esophagus are made of four layers of tissue that create peristalsis. The longitudinal muscle sits on my outside, while the circular muscle sits in the middle inside. The inner circular muscle wraps around the esophagus, it contracts by squeezing together just like a closed fist. It squeezes simultaneously with the longitudinal muscle, which runs up and down the esophagus, this long hollow tunnel, lining the hollow center of the esophagus. When 
you touch your neck in the center gently and you feel those bumpy ridges now you'll know it's just me also called your windpipe i'm one inch in diameter wide i begin below your voice bartending that your bronchite and i carry oxygen from the nose and mouth to your lungs then exhale carbon dioxide when your breathing is done and when you Vertebrae, that's how they latch. Back to the front of your body, these two bones are. 
your clavicles They attach the scapula to the sternum and play an important role I'm your rib cage, I keep your inside safe Attach your spine, your vital organs I encase I'm your rib cage, made up of 24 bones I expand when you breathe and your chest is my home Two of the vital organs in which it's my job to protect Are the heart and the lungs, without my protection they'd be wrecked I'm one of the strongest structures that does exist in you So take care of your rib cage and everything that you do I'm your rib cage, I keep your inside safe Attach your spine, your vital organs I encase I'm your rib cage, made up of 24 bones I expand when you breathe and your chest is my home I'm your rib cage, I keep your inside safe Attach your spine, your vital organs I encase I'm your rib cage, made up of 24 bones I expand when you breathe and your chest is my home to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. I'm a muscular sack, I'm called your bladder. I carry urine from your body straight down into the body. I'm a muscular sack, I'm called your bladder. Your kidneys make your water waste and it start in just one place. Your bladder is the size of a that you're about to see here's a picture of the bladder's anatomy located in the interior pelvis happy the peritoneum covers the upper posterior surface it's the serous membrane and i'm glad you're learning all this the ureters bring urine waste from the kidneys smooth muscles move it down using peristalsis you see urine enters the bladder through ureteral Your muscle controls the bladder's fluid flow Lined with inner mucosa encased in outer membrane though The urethral sphincter allows all the waste urine Into the urethra where urination does begin The external urethral sphincter is what you control To allow the amount of urine you put in the toilet bowl I'm a muscular sac, I'm called your bladder I carry urine from your body straight down into the body I'm a muscular sac, I'm called your bladder Your kidneys make your water waste and have stored in just one place Your kidneys filter all the blood in your body If you wanna learn more, watch my video on kidneys When water waste separates from the kidneys, it will exit Your ureters start the process of peristalsis this process moves the urine to where it should be stored To the bladders where it's headed, I hope you're not bored When the urine reaches your ureteral opening The detrusor muscle relaxes while the bladder's filling When your bladder is full, it stretches its walls And stretch receptors tell your brain the urine must fall The brain tells the detrusor muscle to contract while the internal sphincter opens, that's a fact. The external urethral sphincter relaxes as well, and the urine exits your body making you feel swell. I'm a muscular sac, I'm called your bladder. I carry urine from your body straight down into the body. I'm a muscular sac, I'm called your bladder. Your kidneys make your water waste and have stored in just one place. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I'm your larynx, I'm the reason you can talk and the reason you can sing. A hollow muscular organ, sit and learn, I'll do my thing. First, let's look at your larynx, gently rub under your chin. When you feel that pointy bump, the area man let's look deeper into me you'll see my anatomy my three unfair cartilage are the first you're gonna see first the epiglottis then you have the thyroid third but it is not the least here you see the cricoid next we have the three paired these are the arytenoids 
muscular organ. Sit and learn, I'll do my thing. I have a couple ligaments. Listen to knowledge, I sling. I'll name them off one by one while I teach. You can sing. Median thyrohyoid and cricothyroid ligament. The lateral thyrohyoid are there so you can twist and bend. And here we look down from above into the vocal folds once more. The true and false vocal cords when opened up. A hollow muscular organ Sit and learn, I'll do my thing I'm the reason you can talk And the reason you can sing A hollow muscular organ Sit and learn, I'll do my thing Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel Click the link in the description below Say 
take a walk with me to learn about the 26 bones that make up each of your feet. I have a bunch of joints, yes, 33. Your two feet make up one quarter of the bones in the human body. The foot you see here is broken up into three parts. That's what we'll talk about first. That's where this lesson starts. Here's the hind foot made of the ankle and heel. It's composed of two of the seven tarsal bones in which I'll reveal. Then you see the midfoot, which forms the foot's arch. It's made of five tarsal bones to absorb shock when you march. Here's the forefoot made of five toes called phalanges attached to the metatarsals. I'll explain these bones you see. Take a walk with me to learn about the 26 bones that make up each of your feet. I have a bunch of joints, yes, 33. Your two feet make up one quarter of the bones in the human body. Now let's take a look at the bones in each section more closely and learn all their names to further understand my anatomy. In the high point shown here, you'll see that two bones appear. First the talus bone, it's the lowest part of the ankle joint in the upper rear. Right below that, it's a calcaneus. are made up of five bones attached to 14 phalanges there are three groups you should know the proximal middle and distal phalanges make up the bones of your toes onto the chorus please take a walk with me to learn about the 26 bones that make up each of your feet i have a bunch of joints yes 33 your two feet make up one quarter of the bones in the human Septum in you 
two palatine bones and the maxilla complete the hard palate. It's true. The two nasal bones form the bridge of your nose. Two zygomatic bones form the shape of your cheekbones, as this picture shows. Two inferior nasal conchae are located in your nose as well. Two lacrimal bones run lateral to the maxillary bones. They're swell. I'm your skull. I'm made up of 22 bones. I protect the all important brain while it calls me its home. I'm your skull. I support the soft tissue on your head. A framework of boner cartilage. This knowledge I spread. I'm your skull. I'm made up of 22 bones. I protect the all important brain while it calls me its home. I'm your skull. I support the soft tissue on your head. A framework of boner cartilage. This knowledge I spread. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Like a bean, I'm your spleen. You 
will learn what this means. I produce antibodies and I keep your blood clean. I'm the spleen, the largest organ in the lymphatic system. You don't need me, but if removed from your body, you'll be more prone to infection. The spleen is located under the rib cage above the stomach. Here in the upper left quadrant of the abdomen, the space I share. What's the anatomy of the spleen? Yeah, the spleen's part. I will teach you this now while you look at this splenic work of art. Here you see the splenic hilum and the gastric surface. There's the pancreatic and renal surface. Now repeat this. The splenic artery supplies oxygenated blood to the spleen and the splenic vein drains the blood from the spleen if you know what I mean. Let's take a look inside the spleen to learn more of its parts. There are two main types of tissue in me and that's where we'll start. The first main tissue is called the red pulp. Of this I will tell it filters blood of antigens, microorganisms, and defective red blood cells. The second main tissue is called white pulp. We'll view this as well. It's part of the immune system, mainly made up of white blood cells. The trabeculae of the spleen is the framework within, which is attached to the capsule. It surrounds the spleen and it's thin. Vascular sinusoids are white vessels that drain into pulp veins. We'll learn how this all works, but first let's sing again. I am your spleen. You will learn what this means I am purple five inches long And I'm shaped like a bean I'm your spleen You will learn what this means I produce antibodies And I keep your blood clean All the functions of your spleen Are really complex But I'll explain the basic functions In the next few steps Red blood cells last 120 days Delivering oxygen to your body When they're damaged Entering the spleen recycled is what they be. Healthy cells flow through, but those that are in their unhealthy stages are broken down by large white blood cells that are called macrophages. This all happens in the red pulp tissue that we talked about. These macrophages' main job is to filter all the damaged cells out. These old red blood cells are turned into conjugated bilirubin, which is excreted through bile out of your body then. The white pulp consists entirely of lymphoid tissue. Here I will explain the basic basics of what it does for you. When you get sick or have some sort of nasty disease, the lymphoid tissue within the white pulp sets your body at ease. It creates white blood cells to fight off the sickness and then it also makes antibodies that bind to specific antigens. Both white blood cells and antibodies fight sickness and disease, enabling them to be cleared from the circulation in your body. The spleen stores up to a cup of blood for your safety ready to be released if there's a significant loss of blood you see. Many platelets are also stored within the blood in the spleen to help form blood clots to prevent further blood loss if you know what I mean. Please take care of your body so you don't get sick and if you do the spleen will be there to help you fix it. I am your spleen. You will learn what this means. I am purple five inches long and I'm shaped like a bean. I'm your spleen. You will learn what this means I produce antibodies and I keep your blood clean Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters This is a heart size compared son of animals in this world in which we all are one we'll start with a mouse and end at a blue whale each heart has to beat all day long we'll show you in scale i'm a mouse heart with dimensions of 10 to 4.2 millimeters that's roughly 16th of an inch and that is true my heart rate's 310 to 840 beats per minute let's see how many Six 
69,000 beats per day, I never feel sour. A horse's heart weighs approximately 1% of its body weight, so a thousand pound horse has a 10 pound heart. It's so great. The heart rate of a horse ranges from 28 to 48 beats per minute. At 28 beats per minute, I never quit. Per hour, I can beat 1600 times or 40,000 times per day. I hope you liked my. is to transport the fluid lymph it contains white blood cells that fight infection through the body within the major parts of the lymph tissue are in the marrow of bone and the spleen thymus gland tonsils and in your lymph nodes the heart lungs intestines liver and your skin also contain lymphatic tissue let's see how it works from within your body's made of watery liquid that fills the spaces between the cells this liquid's called interstitial fluid how it becomes lymph fluid i will tell lymph fluids formed when interstitial fluids collected through lymph capillaries lymph carries viruses bacteria and waste material that's scary lymph fluids transported through lymphatic vessels to your lymph nodes your lymph nodes are the place where inspections of your lymph take place you know lymphocytes are your immune cells that inspect your if your lymphocytes find a virus or disease, your lymph nodes blow up like a blimp. Your lymphocytes may call in help from resident macrophages here. Macrophages will attack the unwanted virus that appeared. When the lymph fluid in the lymph nodes are all clean, the lymph continues to flow through the lymphatic vessels, if you know what I mean. Clean lymph fluid re-enters at the end of the subclavian vein in with your blood cells once again so take care of your body and make sure you clean your hands please eat organic fruits and vegetables if you can the lymphatic system is a network of tissues and organs that rid the body of toxins wasting unwanted material to the lymphatic system's main job is to transport the fluid lymph it contains white blood cells that infection through the body within each lymph node is surrounded by a fibrous capsule i'd say which extends inside the lymph node to form trabeculae afferent lymphatic vessels allow lymph fluid to enter lymph node but when lymph fluid leaves it uses efferent lymphatic vessels shown see these valves prevent backflow of lymph fluid on track so the fluid only flows in one direction and doesn't go back. The depressed area of the surface of the lymph node is called hilum. The nodules of these odd looking shaped things, now we're done. The lymph 
lymphatic system is a network of tissues and organs that rid the body of toxins wasting unwanted material to the lymphatic system's main job is to transport the fluid lymph it contains white blood cells that fight infection through the body within shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am a myocyte, your muscles are made up of me. Here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body. We'll start with the deltoids that sit on the shoulders of your arms. There are three parts to your deltoid that I'll teach you with some charm. The interior fibers are on the front side of you While the lateral fibers sit on the top of the shoulders, that's two The third part's called posterior that sits on your back All three make up your deltoid muscles, now how about that? The next muscle we'll look at are the pectorals on your chest There are two parts to this muscle that I hope you never rest There's a pectoral minor which is connected to are made up of me here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body let's look at the abdominals that sit on your tummy this is a pair of four muscles when flexed are very bumpy hey there's the obliques they keep your sides really strong there is the internal oblique muscle that supports your abdomen the external oblique muscle helps with your side bend let's look at on your rear end it's the largest muscle in your body this is true my friend it keeps you standing upright and it helps you to ascend the quadriceps are located on the front side of your thigh there are four muscles that make up the quads that you do rely the rectus femoris is the first muscle in line while the vastus lateralis sits to the far outside vastus intermediate it's under the rectus and vestus medialis makes the fourth in your quadriceps I am a myocyte your muscles are made up of me here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body now let's focus on the hamstrings there are three muscles we'll see biceps femoris muscle is on the outside of the three the semitendinosus makes up the middle part well the semi I'm the pineal gland located in the midline of your brain a small endocrine gland and now you know my name I'm the pineal gland a ductless gland that secretes a hormone called melatonin directly to the bloodstream the pineal gland was given its name because it's shaped like a pine cone as I do exclaim you only have one of me inside your brain This is my location and any human explained I sit directly in the midline of any human brain Secreting a hormone, here I will 
tell you its name. Melatonin is a hormone I famously secrete directly into your body through your bloodstream. Melatonin has a job which is crucial you will see. Controlling circadian rhythms to wake or keep you asleep. I am made up of secretory cells. These are called pinealocytes. I do tell pinealocytes secrete melatonin within a 24 hour cycle that makes up one full day I keep them flowing well I secrete melatonin highest in the middle of the night to keep you asleep until the first daylight melatonin levels decrease when it's closer to dawn and drops down during the day so you don't yawn the schedule of melatonin release is regulated by signals from the retina from the light outside these signals from the retina travel to a nucleus in us called the suprachiasmatic nucleus then that signal travels to the pineal gland the nucleus and the pineal work hard hand in hand the suprachiasmatic nucleus has a main function it's to control circadian rhythms to keep you having fun the suprachiasmatic nucleus also uses melatonin i say as a signal to know the time of day when melatonin levels are at their highest in the hours of the night when it is the darkest that signals the circadian rhythms to be in a nocturnal stage which should keep you asleep until the break of day then your melatonin levels drop dramatically to keep you awake during the day you see your pineal glands important so please take care of me so you can enjoy life while rested and carefree I'm the pineal gland located in the midline of your brain a small endocrine gland and now you know my name I'm the pineal gland a ductless gland that secretes a hormone called melatonin directly to the bloodstream shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters Come take a journey with me inside the human body Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see In our voyage we will learn about biology I'm a cell, your body's made up of me There's more than 200 different types of cells in the human body Atoms and molecules are what created me Then I made all of the systems you're about to hear and see There's the nervous system, it has an important job too It sends signals from and to the brain for all that you do The circulatory system is where all your blood flows It carries oxygen and nutrients to where it should go the respiratory system is what you use to breathe It carries oxygen to all the cells that your body needs Come take a journey with me inside the human body Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see In our voyage we will learn about biology your immune system fights off a lot of disease It detects when you're sick then makes you feel healthy The digestive system takes all the food that you eat Then extracts the vitamins and nutrients that you need Your skeletal system is made up of bones Held together by connective tissue so they don't roam the muscular system has three types you see Skeletal, smooth, and cardiac make up the three Come take a journey with me inside the human body Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see In our voyage we will learn about biology Below. 
Hum your brain, part of the central nervous system. Your cranium's my home, and if you want to learn, then listen. I'm the boss of all the functions in your body. I weigh about three pounds, but I'm the leader of the party. The cerebrum controls your thinking and your muscles. It also stores all memories. Without it, you would struggle. The left cerebrum controls the right side of the body, and the right cerebrum The cerebellum controls your posture and your balance The coordination of your movement is also its talent It's located in the lower back of your brain It is rounded in structure as I've gone on to explain I'm your brain, part of the central nervous system Your cranium's my home and if you want to learn then listen I'm the boss of all the functions in your body I weigh up Your brain stem is at the bottom of your brain Connecting brain to spinal cord to form a neural signal train Your brain stem maintains vital control of your heart and lungs It controls important reflexes to make sure your body runs Your pineal gland produces all your precious melatonin Which can help you sleep at night and makes you wake up in the morning I'm your brain, part of the central nervous system Your cranium's my home and I'm the boss of all the functions in your body I weigh about three pounds but I'm the leader of the party Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. I'm made up of ten different parts, all connected into one. We'll start at the tip of your appendix, attached to your cecum. The next part of my tubular shape is the ascending colon Which leads to the hepatic flexure so you're learning in this song Your transverse colon runs across your entire abdomen Then turns at your splenic flexure onto the descending colon your curved as shaped sigmoid colon leads to your rectum Which is where your fecal matter meets your anus in your bum I am your large intestine though I'm shorter than your small I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls let me tell you how I work and a little bit about me I'm only five feet in length but I'm wide which is why I'm called Large C My most important job is absorbing water from your chime If I didn't perform this function you'd have loose stools all the time Millions of bacteria do live inside of me An important one is E. coli Its job is very key E. coli breaks down all the chum That your body can digest And produces vitamin K That regulates blood clotting at its best Another important job That your large intestine has to play yeah, it excretes all your waste to help your body stay healthy. I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. 
What's that taste? Well, let your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Your tongue is covered in a pink tissue called mucosa. Its main job is to protect deeper tissue when you gnaw. The rough parts of your tongue are called the lingual papillae. They are the small bumps that store taste buds so you enjoy food all day. There are four different types of your tongue's papillae. They're named the filiform, foliate, fungiform, and circumvallate. The frenum is the tether of the front bottom of tongues that hold your tongue in place so your mouth can move freely while it runs. The back of your tongue is anchored by the hyoid bone. The tongue is vital for many things I will show. What's that taste? Well, let your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. The muscles in your tongue are a few we will discuss. The stylo, hyo, and genio all end in glossus. Then the genio and stylo, hyoideus. Learning these muscles of your tongue, yeah, it is a must. Your tongue's main job's to help you chew and swallow all your food. It also helps you speak all words to express your present mood. The common amount of taste that your tongue can recognize are the four. I will tell you it may come as a surprise. Sweet, sour, bitter, and salty are the four. But sometimes you taste a fifth called you mommy I adore. What's that taste? Well, let your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. When you bite into your food, the chemicals from foods release and sinks into the taste papilla to the taste buds that run deep. Sensory cells transform chemicals into nerve signals that are sent into the brain through the nerve fibers they do go. When the signals reach your brain, that information is passed through your cranial nerves to the brain stem really fast. The medulla oblongata takes all those signals and sends them to the limbic and cortical systems you should know. Perception and emotion are then formed for what you ate, then mixed with smells and texture which create this thing called taste. What's that taste? Well, let your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. We are not kidding, see, we are your kidneys. The upper abdominal is where we will be. The right and left kidneys do all sorts of cool things you'll see. Please pay close attention, this lesson is free. One fact about your kidneys is we filter all your blood so free. Through the new fronds, there's about one million in each kidney. The kidney shape just like a bean, it's about the size of the fist you see. And its top is covered by your adrenal gland. The adrenal gland's made of two parts, a cortex and the medulla. These parts produce certain hormones your body needs. The renal vein and artery are what bring blood to and from a seat. They're attached to us right near where the ureters be. Kidneys create hormones that tell the body to make more red blood cells. They also regulate your liquids and nutrients real well. We are not kidding, see, we are your kidneys. The upper abdominal is where we will be. The right and left kidneys do all sorts of cool things you'll see. Please pay close attention, this lesson is free. Dirty blood's pumped into kidneys through your renal artery.
waste is sent down to the renal medulla, collecting dark smooth wastewater to the renal papilla, then through the renal pelvis to the ureters like a straw. Ureters take the wastewater that we all call urine and carries it to your bladder to the toilet. Description below. We're your teeth, we're your teeth, your digestive system star. We hope you listen well and you learn just who we are. When you're a newborn, maybe you may have natal teeth. This only occurs in one in two to three thousand babies. A child's mouth has two rows of teeth on the bottom and the top. But you Some birthday videos with your favorite characters. 